It's the Ireland Challenge Cup. That's the student women's eights. And we've got here the University of Pennsylvania B crew uh, on the Berkshire, furthest from us, and Edinburgh University in their distinctive light blue on the closest to the camera. Away they go. Yeah, both crews you see there on the left-hand side of the screen, the University of Pennsylvania flying out of the box, trying to get as many strokes in as they possibly can. Looks to me like Edinburgh University, just as the uh, the rudder gets whacked on there, just starting to drift out into the middle of the course. A quick correction there from Cox Emily Davis, and she's back on track. This is going to be a fascinating encounter for these two universities. It's neither of their top crews at the moment, so we're seeing the depth that these programs have on display, both B crews. And at the moment, it's the University of Pennsylvania, the American Americans who have the advantage by about three quarters of a length. Always a bit difficult at the end of the island to kind of really judge what's going on. The crews are really in the start phase. But as you said, Fergus, this is the battle of the bees, the bee crews. And what's the psychology that's going on there? Because all of these athletes will have wanted to be in their A crews. They'll have contested for that. They've really got something to prove here. And already, well, Edinburgh have got a question to answer because the University of Pennsylvania B crew has really gone off like a rocket. It certainly has. I mean, this crew predominantly made up of athletes in the second varsity eight who raced at the Division One Championships, the NCAAs, and they came ninth in the second varsity eight. So a solid outed for Pennsylvania, a program who are certainly on the rise in the collegiate scene. Their varsity eight had an outstanding race in, in the grand final. And this Edinburgh crew that they're going up against, it's a huge number of this crew is actually made up of their outstanding beginner program. Five of these athletes have learned to row at Edinburgh, racing at Henley for just the first time this year. And that program, when you think of beginner rowing in the UK, you think of Edinburgh University, who pick up medal after medal at Bucks Regatta, Bucks Head. And for them to have this opportunity coming down this course, racing against some of the finest universities in America, what an opportunity for them. Absolutely, one of the great things about the regatta, what we love about Henley, is the chance to race on the track of, as the best athletes in the world. So many legends have their names engraved on the trophies from when they were junior athletes through clubs, through intermediate levels and into national teams. And we may well be seeing some of these women in their national teams in years to come. A punishing race for the B crews, but Pennsylvania, the B crew on the right-hand side of our picture, we can see now that three-quarter mile signal have got clear water, about uh, a third of a length, maybe two-thirds of a length of clear water there. Calm faces, it's a nice feeling to be sitting at this point in the race, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is, and Pennsylvania's A crew, I think we're still to see them race in this regatta. Uh, their top boat in the Island Challenge Cup, as I said, an outstanding season, particularly in the varsity eight at the NCAAs. Edinburgh University, their A crew has already raced, in fact, beating the University of London's top boat in, in the Ireland Challenge Cup, which was a fantastic result for these Scottish girls. But their B crew at the moment, they aren't backing down from this and are certainly going to keep chucking everything at Pennsylvania. And you can see the pain on the faces of the uh, women from Edinburgh, Edinburgh University's B crew as they really have to dig deep in the middle part of the race. They now can feel in the boat, they can't, they can't see, but they can feel that their opponents have taken some clear water over them. You can feel the run of the boat, the wash that comes off the boat, that sort of V-shaped wave. It's hard to pick out on the pictures. You can certainly feel it as you ride over it in that Edinburgh University B crew. They're being urged on now by Emily Davis in the Cox to see what she's going to be saying to them right now. What she's going to be saying, she might be telling them a little fib or two at the moment, just perhaps saying they're a little bit closer to Pennsylvania than they actually are, just giving that crew that belief that, that they have the momentum to draw themselves back into contention as they come into regatta enclosure, into stewards enclosure, and telling them by no means do they, do they back down from this race and they keep going at Pennsylvania and trying to inch by inch claw themselves back into the race. Well, astonishing revelations there from Ferguson that the Cox might not be telling the full truth about the distance <laughs> to close, but sometimes it's necessary because what you need in the crew is belief more than anything else. You've got to be relaxed. You've got to trust the process. You've got to trust all those hours of training on the water, on the ergos, competing to get into those crews. And that's the determination that's needed, calm, strong determination and trusting the process. But look at the contrast here. This is beautiful rowing by the University of Pennsylvania B crew. You can see very strong, great acceleration, oars moving together, boats surging nice and flat and loose and relaxed in the shoulders. And that's important. It's not just about the push in rowing. It's also about the calm movement as the boat slides underneath the athletes, not slowing the boat down. And here we are passing Stewart's enclosure. Well, people were delighted. Our American viewers, welcome to you. Delighted to see Pennsylvania 
um, with some clear water as they come through the closing stages. Yeah, Pennsylvania, one of a huge contingent from the United States that have come over to race at Henley 2023. And just like so many of their countrymen and women beforehand, this Pennsylvania crew will be crossing the line in first place, taking the win in this heat of the Ireland Challenge Cup. It's a very, very strong row by Pennsylvania. Big challenging attack by Edinburgh University, and they were brave, these women, to go so early in the attack, um, and it cost them, but that's sometimes the only thing you can do when you face an opponent with such strength. So Pennsylvania B take the win over Edinburgh B in the Battle of the Bees in the island.